The Army Corps of Engineers will hold a news conference at 1 o'clock, followed by the immediate opening of the Morganza Spillway. And in St. Landry Parish, those who live along Darbone Bay and surrounding areas could be facing possible backwater flooding after the Morganza opens. Our Justice Henderson was out on the water with St. Landry Parish search and rescue teams. Her story, all new tonight at 10. Some of the houses and camps that sit on Darbon Bay already have water up to their homes. Uh, I think they let it down for a while, and if they go slowly, which they're supposed to do, it shouldn't bother us that much here in this parish. A deputy with the St. Landry Parish Sheriff's Office says he lived on Darbon Bay when the Morganza was opened in 2011. He says with the water already being high, he believes that some people should start packing and preparing. And in 2011, the water how it is now is about the height of once they opened up the Morganza Spillway. So it is about six foot above normal. And at this point, the St. Landry Parish Office of Emergency Preparedness has not issued any evacuation orders. Those who live on Darbon Bay say some of their property has already been underwater for weeks. They fear the water won't recede before the Marganza opens, but they say they know it has to be done. If it has to be done, I'm all in favor of it. From the boat, we were able to see that some people's docks were completely underwater already. The Sheriff's Office has made certain areas of Darbon Bay a no-wake zone to prevent water from going into houses and camps. Just be mindful. Make sure you wear your life jacket. Use common sense when on the waterway and be respectful of the homeowners and the camps. In Port Barry, Justice Henderson, KETC, TV3. In St. Mary Parish, the process to sink the Bayou Shen Barge 